Welcome to this presentation and demonstration of the Oracle Advanced Analytics option, an option to the Oracle Database Enterprise Edition. And in this presentation and demonstration, I'm going to be covering the use of Oracle Advanced Analytics for performing retail or market basket analysis. Market basket analysis. My name is Charlie Berger. I'm the Senior Director of Product Management for Data Mining and Advanced Analytics at Oracle. We're always obligated to put up this legal disclaimer. And in the context of big data today, you hear a lot about uh, uh, different data sources of GPS uh, information coming off your car driving around the neighborhood for your insurance uh, policies. You hear about Twitter feeds being analyzed to uh, predict or understand uh, customer sentiment. You uh, have point of sale transactional data where customers are purchasing things and everything that they purchase is now captured and, and, and understood. And you have all these different sources of data um, that, are, that are being uh, gathered today. But in the context of this presentation and demonstration, I'm going to be focusing on the analysis of that data. In other words, big data analytics. And so in uh, Oracle, we have a number of different product offerings. We have uh, the big data appliance where you can stream and acquire data from a variety of different big data sources. We have the Oracle database sort of in the center to the right a little bit there uh, where we store and manage and now analyze that data. And then finally we have Oracle Exalytics and Oracle Business Intelligence where maybe you want to create dashboards or uh, different ways to view the distilled information that comes from the gathering and analysis of that data. So from Oracle's offerings, the part that I'm going to be talking about today is the Oracle Advanced Analytics option. It's an option to the database. If you have the Oracle database, you have the Oracle Advanced Analytics option already installed. It is separately licensed, but that's the feature that we're talking about. And it is uh, what we call the fastest way to deliver scalable enterprise-wide predictive analytics. It helps you make better decisions with deeper insights in predictive analytics to understand customer behavior, uh, maybe uh, fraud, uh, to understand their purchasing behavior, maybe be able to make some predictions or change your, your marketing policy. We provide a comprehensive uh, analytics uh, portfolio on a very, very simple architecture. So you can use both SQL and R languages to access these functionalities. And you can also use the graphical user interface that I'm going to go through as part of the demonstration. And by putting all this together in one solid single location called the Oracle database, we really do uh, provide the lowest total cost of ownership. You do not have to have separate analytical servers and separate dedicated uh, data analysts and data statisticians and scientists who use their own environments to do your analysis. Here you can allow those data analysts and data scientists access to the data while it resides in the database and use the Oracle uh, in database data mining and statistical functionality. Our value proposition uh, is that we do not move the data. So whereas in traditional analytics where you have to extract the data, maybe do some data preparation and transformations, build your predictive models, and then if you want to apply those models to new data, you have to repeat all those steps, uh, which this entire loop, outer loop of the data and analysis can take really hours, more typically days and weeks. With Oracle Advanced Analytics, it all happens inside the database. It can reduce that down to seconds, minutes, or perhaps hours. And as I said earlier on, it is really the fastest path from data to insights. And you're doing all of this in the um, scalable, secure Oracle database. Now, in the field of data mining and in the offering that we have from Oracle called Oracle Advanced Analytics, there's a wide range of analytical functions that we provide, and they range from attribute importance, where we're trying to identify the most important factors, to classification, to regression. We're going to focus on the one at the bottom here, to determining co-occurring items in a basket. In other words, you've probably heard of the story beer in diapers, where, a, where they found a pattern where a person goes into the store and they go in to buy some beer, but at the same time they pick up some diapers, or perhaps the other way around, because the spouse has called in and said, while you go to the convenience store to pick up one item, could you please pick up the other item as well? So finding co-occurring items like that, the beer and diaper story, maybe when you go to the grocery store, you buy some spaghetti, some spaghetti sauce, and you would suggest, you know, where's the bottle of red wine? That's what we're really going to focus on. So in this presentation and demonstration, we're going to talk about automatically sifting through large amounts of data, in this case, transactional data, point of sale data, to try and find these patterns and correlations. 
We're going to do this analysis using something called the Oracle Data Miner GUI. It is an extension to SQL Developer. SQL Developer and the Oracle Data Mining GUI are both free, so you can just download this and hook it up as a connection to your database. It's very easy to use, it's very powerful, and at the end of having performed your analysis, you can generate SQL scripts for immediate deployment of your analysis. The area of uh, Oracle Advanced Analytics and the Oracle Data Miner GUI that we're going to focus on is performing market basket analysis, so we're going to use this association build node, and I'll cover that live in a second. There's a range of different techniques that we support, but we're going to focus on just one of them right now. And because we do this inside the database, it, it, we can do so many things that you can't traditionally do in other packages. So if I want to do market basket analysis and bring in some point of sales data, I want to bring in some s customer uh, unstructured data, perhaps comments and uh, maybe Twitter feeds, or I always joke if your marital status is not married, single, or divorced, and instead it's a uh, legal document or a police report, well, we can parse out those words and send that in as a vector of data for consideration that we join with all the other different uh, data, and by the time we get to mining that data and build our predictive models, we're considering all those different multidimensional um, aspects of the 360-degree uh, customer view. So now let's go into the demo, and we're going to cover uh, uh, just the one topic we're going to focus on in this presentation and demonstration, market basket analysis. So let's cut over to the demo, and now we're going to use um, Oracle SQL Developer. So if you're familiar with uh, Oracle SQL Developer, it is a uh, uh, very uh, uh, simple to use, very common uh, uh, user interface. We have connections that you're probably familiar with, but after we install Oracle Data Miner, we now have this other sort of personality where we have these projects, and I've set up a project called DM User 12C, sort of very creatively named there, or that's my connection actually. Then I have different projects here, and I am in the Customers R Us project, and I've set up a workflow, or I just launch that, give it a name, and I've set up a workflow here called Market Basket Analysis. So we have the workflow area over here, we have our icons over here that we're going to drag and drop onto our surface. We have properties over here, and, and let's get into this. So the very first thing we need to do is to create a data source. So let's do that. We're asked immediately what is the data source we want to use, and I can include tables from other schemas here, and in this case I'm using the SH data that ships as the demo data with most uh, Oracle database uh, instances. So if you have the Oracle database, you usually have this SH schema that has a bunch of demo data, and we're going to use that demo data here for our purposes. The data that we're going to use is this point of sale transactional data, the amount sold, the customer ID, it's got a date and time stamp. We're going to take that data uh, and we're going to carry over all the variables, so we have the, the, the concept of uh, shuttling over these variables in or out of our, uh, of our table or our view that we're going to use, but I'm going to take them all right now. So at this point I have my table, I have some properties information about that, so I can view down here and see what else is going on, nothing that we're really going to focus on right now. If I want to view this data, then I can view the data, and I see, just as I see in SQL Developer, a grid. Now if I want to sort this data so it makes a little bit more sense, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, customer ID first and I'm going to push that over there. I'm going to make that ascending. And then I'm going to take the timestamp next and make that ascending and I'm just going to apply this sort. So now I can see that I have customer ID number two and if I want to look at what I define as a basket, I have um, customer number two here at uh, this date and time stamp here. Let's just move that out a little bit more. At a certain time, this person's making a transaction and they've purchased um, item number, where's our item number here? Product ID item number 140, 148, 146. So at this, this little window right here of the first four items, are all this 12, five items, six items. These are all the transactional uh, purchases that have occurred at this date and timestamp right here, these first, these first few items. So what we're going to do is, if you notice a little bit further down, so this is on one, two, three, four, I guess four items on January 2nd, another item on January 4th, more on January 5th, and so on. So I have these items here that the, the customer is purchasing, and we're going to use that as our input for our market basket analysis. So it's rather straightforward. What I'll do here is 
I'll just take my one of my models and I'm going to take this uh, association rules analysis. I'm going to drop that over here. It's as simple as this really. And I am going to set this up to um, take this data as input data and build some models. So I'm going to connect that to that. And in doing so, I need to specify what I call a transaction. So here I'm going to specify this as uh, my transaction is going to be a customer and timestamp interaction. So those two guys together are going to define what I'm going to call a market basket. My um, item that I'm going to look at are these product IDs and I'm just going to look for the mere existence. So I'm going to look for the mere existence of things. I'm going to set this up and it says it's going to run the a priori algorithm. I'm going to change this to maximum rule length is 3 right now to make that a little bit simpler. My minimum confidence I'm going to put is 5%. We'll cover that in a minute. And the minimum support is going to be 1%. So I'm going to set this up to run and it's all set to run. And if I just right mouse click on this and say run, it'll go off and do that. Now to save a little bit of time for the demo, what I've done is I've already run that. So I have it down here. I have the sales, sales data and I've done this market basket analysis right here. And if I view this data here, I can go see the results. But I've done something a little bit else here that I want to jump into instead. I want to take this a little bit further. I've joined the sales data to the products data and I've specified this as the um, join across these two guys um, where I am joining the sales data and the product ID, product, uh, product data based on the product uh, uh, ID so I can get the descriptions. So as I go down here and now look at this as my as my results I can actually see the uh, market basket analysis but in addition to seeing just product ID 140 and product ID 146 now I've carried along those descriptions. So here's the results of the market basket analysis. What I've done through what Oracle Advanced Analytics's uh, market basket analysis algorithm has done is it's found all of those rules and there are thousands of rules here um, and it says well if they buy fly fishing and they buy the comic book heroes then they're likely to need this memory card and that's with 93 percent confidence the lift is what is the incremental uh, value of, uh, of uh, predictability if you will of this combination over random and the support is how often do I see this so this is occurring one percent of the time so I can sort these guys based on lift I can sort them based on confidence and so on now each of these different rules that have been discovered are um, are perhaps meaningful for me to change the way I do my business. Now I can also go through here and say, well, maybe I just want to focus on certain things. So as I sort of drill down here, notice that I'm just searching in the Oracle database a table, a, result, a rules table, and it's very, very fast. Now one of the things I like to show here is perhaps I want to do something very specific, and I want to use a filter. And I want to say, well, I'm very interested in selling something specific. So now let's say I'm interested in selling that 128 memory card and I want to make that the, I want to sell these so I want to say what do I have to sell to sell more of those. So if I do this and I run the query what it does is it looks for rules where that is the consequent. In other words what things, if I sell the fly fishing rod in the comic book then I'm likely to sell these memory cards. So I've done this I can change the rules to different uh, antecedents and different consequence but that's the concept of it. So basically what we've done is we've sifted through the data, we found these co-occurring items, and we've uh, captured all this as a very simple market basket analysis rule. I can persist those into the model details where I can, I can basically just say well I want to push those into a table of some sort that captures the rules, captures all the information here that I have and I can actually persist this result as a table of some sort and I can point to that table and in doing so in sort of capturing this whole flow by the way when I'm done with all this if I want to just deploy all this as a SQL script of some sort I can go up here and just say I want to push this whole thing out as some sort of SQL script and I want to go to immediately to deployment so I can do that very very powerful feature but just to kind of move this along and, and finish the presentation and demo quickly that's it that's how easy and simple it is and I want to come back here to a couple of other, th other things. We at Oracle also have applications, so we've been embedding these functionalities, these predictive analytics, inside of other applications like Oracle Customer Retail Analytics, which embeds that. Um, also, the results are very easily displayed in something like Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. Here's a simple example of that. 
We've also been pushing these algorithms into other examples. Here's a more involved uh, representation of some other, uh, anal other additional types of analyses, fraud, churn, loyalty, clustering, and all these results are able to be shown through Oracle Business Intelligence. So sort of wrapping up now, if you're interested in this, you want to learn more, you can simply Google Oracle Advanced Analytics and you can you can uh, find the uh, training materials that are out there. If you send me a personal uh, email, I can send you all my favorite links that send uh, you off to get more information and more uh, resources and all these different topics. Not really a forum for, for uh, Q&A right here, but I, I welcome you to uh, post questions or send me uh, specific information. Thank you very, very much for your time today.